This video is about sensor data. In this section, we will focus on what sensor data are and why we have sensor data. When you collect data for performing survival analysis, you will know time until the event occurs for observations. However, some observations you may do not know when the event of interest occurs. However, it is still useful when you have that data for the analysis. These data types are called sensor data. Why censoring occurs? A censoring can occur when a person does not experience the event before the study ends. For example, in these cases, or a person is lost to follow up during the study period. For example, this case. Another reason of censoring is a person withdrawing from the study because of the death, if the death is not the event of interest, or other reasons such as adverse drug reaction. Uh, for example, Z is a withdrawal patient. In this study, there are six persons, and we know the time until the event occurs for person A and F. And this is a person A and F. And you can see cross is a symbol to show event occurs. However, we do not know exactly the time until the event occurs for the person B, C, D, and E. So the data from these persons are sensor data. The sensor data are labeled as zero, while the data that we know the time until the event occurs are labeled as 1. So the data above can be arranged in this table. After you collect data, you can perform survival analysis use a set of methods including kaplan meier estimate or KM estimate, log rank test, and Cox regression. Survival analysis is based on survival probability and hazard probability. So before we dig deep into the methods of survival analysis, we will learn these terms.